So I've got some uh, holes drilled out here. I'm going to fill these up with lead. Uh, but before I do that, I'm going to seal the bait. And in order to do that, I use super glue. I actually just got this on Amazon. It was like 10 bucks. It's two ounces. It should last forever. So I am just going to uh, douse this in super glue to seal this. You can see it seals it almost instantly. Alrighty. Pretty hard, good to go. So I'm gonna, man, I'm gonna test it first. I may need to drill these holes deeper. I guess tie weights to it. I don't know, I gotta figure out how to somehow tie weights to it to see how much weight I need in order to get this to sink to the correct level. So I'll be back once I start pouring the lead. All right, so you can see I've already filled up the holes with lead. Didn't get as good of a pour here, so I'm coming back with the baking soda and I'm about to drop the old super glue on it. So here we go. Here we go. Three drops will do it. Gotta let it sit for a bit before I come back and sand it down. So I'll sand that one down. Cover this one with a little bit of super glue. Actually, I don't even know if I need to on this one. This one's turned out real smooth. So, so after this, I will actually start painting this bait. Um, my idea is to paint the entire thing gold first. I've grooved out these fins. So the, the idea is to hit everything with gold and then come back with black on the fins real lightly so there's the gold still coming through here and then I'll do majority of it green I'll do uh, like an orange or red plate right here and then black scales all around alright so we have the holes drilled for the hardware and I ended up cutting the joint on the back tail so it'll just be a three piece heavy diving jointed swim bait uh, so right now I'm gonna drill or sorry uh, create the hardware rather so I like the size that this uh, paper clip or this uh, little thing creates for the eye hook. So slide it through there and then tighten down the drill and just hold it tight and it'll spin a nice little And then just unhook this little doodad. You got one line tie. So these will just glue in. Swing. So I have to make six of these total piece of aluminum wiring or whatever kind of wire you use, slide it through, grab the drill, place those two tips in, tighten it tight. And make sure you're pulling away from the drill too so that it's a nice even coil. I will make four more of these guys and we'll see you back. All right, back on the project. I'm all done with the crankbait uh, and we're actually going out tomorrow. So I'm gonna put my epoxy on it. It's on this uh, little homemade rotisserie I made. So what I have is basically just a really tiny motor with a piece of wood and then I drilled, there's like little things sticking out on each end so I just attach them to that. And it slowly spins. And 
and this is the epoxy I use. It's the same epoxy I used on the surfboard. Comes out real clean. It's just a two to one mixture. Got this uh, all chiseled out here for the gills. So now I'm gonna glue in the hardware. I do need to cut these down so that they fit correctly in the grooves. So let me get these measured and cut them. So you can see they all stick out, so I'll clip these down, slide them in, and then super glue them in. Alright, so I've got them all cut down a bit here, so I'm going to start with this one. What I do is just drop two or three drops in there and then just go in and out, in and out to make sure that the entire thing is covered. Okay. Kind of got away from me there, but that's all right. We'll just reseal the bait. This stuff dries fast too, so. So we'll let that one dry up. Onto the next one here. So the two hook hangers are in. Now we'll do the line tie. This one's kind of hard to get to. So they're all in. Now what I do, let them sit for a bit, and then I'll come back and just drip a little bit more in each hole. That way we for sure know that they're snug. We'll move on to the polyurethane. I'll mix it up off the of camera and then I'll uh, start filming when we apply it. All right, I got, I don't know, maybe 20, 15, 20 grams of epoxy. I did roughly 10 grams of the resin and then five of the hardener so i'm going to wait for the chemical reaction to kind of start it needs to get a little harder before i start plopping it on so once it thickens up a bit i'll start putting it on the bait so it looks and feels like the chemical reaction has happened here it is starting to get really hot and it's starting to get pretty thick so i'm going to start spreading it on all right, so what I'm gonna do is put on a thick layer and then I'm gonna turn it on and then just continually keep my eye on it, make sure there's no drips or anything. coat on here like I said all right now I'll turn on the rotisserie Alright, and then this is the one that I had thrown in Dallas and damaged, so this is all taped off. I'm just trying to get this little half inch area, so hopefully this will dry up hard again. And when I peel it all off, it'll be good to go. But We're all done with the paint job, so got the crankbait on the rotisserie. We'll leave it here until uh, it obviously dries. I'll probably just leave it on for a few hours just to make sure it gets hard. I do have to take care of uh, the line ties. They ended up getting gunked up with the epoxy. And then I hope my super glue method worked. I have a feeling it didn't. Um, but I'll be back in uh, a few hours, maybe like 10 or 11 tonight. I'll touch it, make sure it's like I can hold it and use it. That way I can at least drill out all of the hardware holes 
uh, that way for tomorrow's adventure I'll be able to throw this and and this guy repair job is obviously a little brighter than the rest of the body but I just needed to make sure that I got it sealed and put another thing of epoxy on there so I'll be throwing these two baits all day tomorrow and we'll see y'all there we'll be spray spray painting this guy today I'm gonna do like an orange belly and then come back with gold do all gold then come back with uh, blue and come back with green so just pray paint the belly right now we'll let the orange dry and then they'll come back with gold all right so i got the orange port part uh taped off i'm just gonna leave a bit of this like i said orange and then i'm gonna come back here with uh, metallic gold and just paint the whole thing Ooh, so shiny. Alright, we'll let the gold dry. And then next I'll be coming back with blue. And uh, then we'll fade down to green and then some black and then we'll do the, the gills. So it's all taped off. I'm going to spray paint these fins lightly with black. We'll see if we can get it to look like it's got black and gold. That's good. Oh, I didn't need to get up in here. I think that'll work. All right, so this will be the next color we spray on. We'll be transitioning from top to bottom here. We'll leave most of the belly gold, but again, we'll hit majority of the bait with it. Alright, I'll let this dry here and after this we'll come back with uh, green and then after the green we'll come back with black. Alright, gonna come back with some green here. Darken it up. I didn't need to cover the, the face. Uh, I want to make sure that the face has a lot of blue on it. Just do something like this. Flip it over and do the same thing on the other side. I gotta get a new glove though. Right, so I just sprayed it down with some green. So next will be black and then we'll dip it in uh, epoxy. We're back on the bluegill project here. And this is the last step before the gills, or sorry, before the before the scales, before I put the scales on. So I'm gonna cover the face and spray it with some black so it will fade down with this black. Okay, flip it over and do the other side. All right, pretty, pretty satisfied with that. Next up, we'll peel back this to reveal the orange. Uh, peel off these to reveal the fins, and then we will uh, put the eyeball on and then epoxy it, so. All right, time for the final touch. Put the scales on here, got it all masked off. Just use screen from a window, and then use this glitter paint, so. Give them some scales. All 
right, we'll let this dry here and uh, see how the scale pattern looks in the next, I don't know, five minutes. You want to pull it off before it dries too much so that it doesn't peel off any of the paint or anything else. So, moment of truth. We'll pull off. Oh man, hope this worked out all right. All right, looks pretty good. Luckily, this is all covered, so. All right, off camera, I'll pull all the masking tape off and show you what it looks like when it's all unmasked. All right, here's the finished product. Just gotta cover it in poly. looks pretty good so we'll get the epoxy put on here soon and should be finished all right so we're on the last few steps here I got to cut the joints and then cover it in poly so right now I'm gonna cut the two joints Tail snapped off for me, no problem. There we go. All right. There they are. Gotta clean them off, seal the inside, and then we'll cover them in poly. All right, gonna mix up the resin here, a two to one mixture, and plop it on the bait. Let me get this weighed out real quick. Right, so we'll leave those on the rotisserie for about 20-30 minutes, it should get hard. And then the last piece, just got to do this section. We'll throw it on the rotisserie after these are all done. And then we'll come back and drill the holes for the joints. The last piece here, so the middle section of the swim bait. We'll let that dry. Get it in some sun to see the reflection. Right, we'll go move it inside to dry. Alright, so this is the best part of the entire build, and that is putting it all together. So I have measured out all the joints for each piece. Each slides in, fits in 100%. Gonna super glue each of these back into the bait. And I start with one side and then move over to the next. So I'll start, I'll glue both in the front piece, then I'll move to the back piece or the middle piece. And then I have Q tips to. Uh, Soak up the excess because you obviously don't want to glue the two joints together or else it won't swim. Just a dab here. And then use the cotton swab to get the excess out. You want to just constantly move this around so that it doesn't get glued down anywhere. So that one's in there pretty good. Move on to the next one down here.
All right, so now that we have these two glued in, we'll move on to this side. So what I'm gonna do is actually have to glue them up at the same time. So I'll put a dab of glue on each of these and then just try and get them to hang down flat like this. And then I'll just have to uh, slide it in and out, in and out, in and out. And then once it's in there, I'll just move it back and forth. That way the joints don't get glued together. So I'm pushing in real hard to make sure that it's all the way in as well. You don't want them sticking out. So I'll just do this for a bit and then come back with the cotton swab and get in there. First section put together onto the tail, very teeny tiny tail here. So we'll do the same thing. Glue them into here first and then do these half. This is the very first one that I made. Weighs 2.1 ounces. I've had one bite on this bait. Here's the second bait I made. This is a crankbait. It weighs one ounce. And I don't think I've had any bites on it. Although there are some what look like teeth marks on the top of it. And then lastly, just finished this guy. The heaviest of them all. Weighs 2.4 ounces. Most of the weight is in the front right here and right here. So it should kind of swim down. But we'll see. Haven't tested this one. Tested the other two and they swim pretty good. Um, but if you found this interesting, please let me know. Leave a comment below. Uh, if you're interested in buying one, send me a message. I can certainly make more. It's a lot of fun making these things. I'm actually going to be making two uh, for some YouTube buddies. Ice Nag TV and Skinny Water Boys TV. So once I'm done with those, I'll ship them out to those guys. So check out their channel. Thanks for watching. And of course, We'll see y'all on the water once uh, once that time comes.